Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over some Berserker sets that will be very good in the current state of the game. So, I hope you guys do enjoy. And, okay, so for this damage guide, I'm going to be showing you how to get the most damage, like I said in the intro, um, for Berserker. Now, this isn't much of a budget setup. It can be. You just got to take away, like, a couple of the items, and I'll tell you good replacements. So, basically, the first item you're going to need, well, the first items you're going to need, if you have at least 40 mil, I know that's a lot, but after the one with the money, I'll show you one without a bunch of money. It'll still be, like, maybe 12 mil on the other one. But what you're going to have to do, Oh, I feel but what you're gonna have to do you yeah you is this is a guide for berserker like I said and you want you're gonna want to get um, a shadow assassin chest plate as you can see I'm looking on stirring my armor boots okay you want the helmet and you want the chest plate and you just want the full set of shadow assassin Make sure um, it has at least growth five. Um, one of one of mine has part six. It's not fully hot potato booked mine, which I'm going to do. It's just the boots that is. But why this is so good is you see this um, full set bonus. Yeah, collect the shadows of your enemies you kill, increasing your damage for the rest of the dungeon while wearing this set plus one strength every kill it adds up but i don't think uh i haven't i don't think i've uploaded in a while it's because i was working on this video probably but you're gonna want to have a livid dagger you don't it doesn't matter if it's maxed mine isn't fully maxed only a smite seven you're also going to want a flower of truth again doesn't have to be maxed you just want um, maybe ultimate wise five would be good. We're back in. Time to move on to the budget setup. That's not really that budget. We're gonna go into the first budget setup, which is still a lot, but has Shadow Assassin in it. Um, you're going to need Shadow Assassin boots, which are about 1 mil. Uh, a helmet, which is about 1.8 mil. And then the legs for about 3.9 mil. So 1 mil plus 1.8 mil plus 3.9. Alright everyone, I've just calculated it. And it is about 6.7 mil for just that. I know, it's pretty cheap. It's not really. But... <laughs> But the zombie knight chest plate. You're just going to basically want to put this on your shadow assassin. And then you will just look way worse, I'm going to be honest, um, compared to this. I know that. But it's shadow assassin. You're going to have to live with it. But, if you want, you can survive in floor 2 with this. It's really bad. It's not, like, the best, I'm going to be honest. You're going to want a Flower of Truth. You're going to want Adaptive Armor. It's really cheap if you can get a right deal. Hey, um, I'm just editing this right now, and I realized that I forgot Necron Armor. And... This is going to be filed under the very high price, so yeah, I'll we'll show some pictures on the screen, and knock on armor and wooden helmet is probably what you're going to want with a Valkyrie, and maybe a flower of truth if you really want to clear rooms, but I'd recommend just scroll your Valkyrie, and yeah, you'll be able to use weather impact, and that's probably going to be really good for clearing rooms, or just have a mage in your team. I'm a 
wake up, I'm about to say something. Three virgins on the track, so for body stay sus. Only fans get advanced, I'm ducking my pace up. Got these bands in my hands, bitch, I'm about to pay. Yeah, I'm a man, shit, not a big hit. You a fan, bitch, call it Tyler, man, we put it down.